hold on, I gotta take this. Hey Keith, how's it going? Oh, you just played? David did what? He calls, that is so annoying when he does that. So annoying, he's a cool guy though. <laughs> Guys and ladies, the five most annoying things people do when you're playing pickleball, especially in rec play. Please subscribe, leave your comments, and have a good day. This has to be the greatest ball on court point I've ever seen. Also, the most annoying. That's me saying that, and take a look. Sam has such an easy put away, and the ball rolled on the court. David calls ball, and they replay the point. Keith and Sam are not happy, nor would I be. However, if I'm on the other team, I would be. So I am putting this as the greatest ball on point court of all time, period. If you have a better one, send it to me and I'll do a video, but I don't think that is. <laughs> and Keith says, wow, seriously, Dave? They argue a little and they replay the point. At least it makes for good TV. I understand that this is part of the rule and in a tournament maybe do it but it's rec play and Sam had the point one come on David like seriously this is another pet peeve of mine stringent calls on foot faults and this is me watch what I do beautiful what a good shot Joey <laughs> it was clean David we argue a bunch we're good friends who are allowed to do this. I like to call this group therapy for men. <laughs> no way I could have. And I don't do Ernie's very often. And that was just beautiful. But this is the same match. And I do it again. <laughs> and Keith, Keith is trying to tell me I was in the kitchen. And watch, watch what Sam does. He's <laughs> he's trying to prove my point. It does a little skip. <laughs> For the record, Keith always does Ernie's, and people always give him flack. So he's just returning the favor. <laughs> but this was beautiful, and I'm getting pretty good at that. In tournaments. If someone's sitting overhead and steps back, lots of times they will step on that kitchen line. And if they do an Ernie, most likely they're gonna step on the line, but it's rec play. And in a tournament, ask the ref. In rec play, why are you? Another pet peeve of mine, bad line calls. Look, take a look at this. The guy in orange does an ATP. And what ensues is priceless. That's classic. I I always end up doing that. I'll bet you a hundred bucks. Then they ask the crowd, "Hey, was that in?" This is exactly what happens. <laughs> and I thought the ball was in. <laughs> Calling line calls too tight in rec play. I understand tournaments, you have to call lines tight, but come on, it's rec play, and why have a stupid argument? Let's have a brief intermission for the two pet peeves that did not make the top five. Number one, you're playing, your ball rolls on someone else's court, the people take forever to pick it up. When they pick it up, you have your hand raised, you're serving, and they literally throw the ball to a different court. Like, what the heck? Number two, people that go to rec play, they don't have pickleballs of themselves. You have a Franklin, and they just look at you like you have a disease. And they go, I don't play with Franklins. I play with Dora Fast 40s. You know what? You can play with yourself. Number four, targeting during rec play. Now, this is a tournament, so I understand that targeting. However, when you do this in rec play, there's two things that happen. Number one, you get frustrated, your opponent gets frustrated, and you end up taking your partner's balls. So this is two big no-nos. Look at Jack Foster. He literally is covering the whole court, and he is amazing. He's number seven, I think, in singles in the US, and he does it again. But take a look right here. 
they win the point. But in rec play, everyone wants to hit balls. We want to get better. We want to practice things. It's not about winning or losing. And I speak for many when I say, stop taking my balls in rec play. It's rec play, people. You know, you don't have to be a ball hog in rec play. Number five, smacking someone with a ball, especially someone you don't know. <laughs> now, if you know them, it's a different story. If they're your friends, you're allowed to hit them in the face. You're allowed to hit them in the back. However, if you don't know them, if you don't know someone, you probably shouldn't smash them with a ball. I do this all the time, but you know, they're my friends. Now, I know Nikki, <laughs> so oh, I'm yeah. allowed to do the first time I hit a girl. Dirty. What goes around comes around, and Nikki and Ed seek revenge. Not before Ed gets a really good laugh. You're welcome, Ed. Revenge is a dish best served cold. Guys and ladies, thank you so much for watching. Please leave your comments. Please subscribe. Wait, hold on. Hey Dave, how's it going? Keith did what? <laughs> I'm gonna make a video on it.